Turning my hobby into a business. Turning my hobby into a business was a major risk to achieve my goal, and it required courage. I wanted to pick a topic that I am very passionate about and piques my interest. My interest in selling Supreme proclaimed how I started my own business. For this project, I am going to analyze the brand Supreme and what keeps its identity unique. Also discussing how I turned my hobby into a business and focus on what applications help me create my business as well. James Jebbia is the founder of Supreme and was started in 1994. His store started as a very local skateboarding brand in New York City. Supreme became very well known when many rappers started to wear the brand, such as Kanye West and Travis Scott. The first rapper I saw wearing Supreme was Tyler the Creator. The popularity started to increase even more when Supreme made a collaboration with Louis Vuitton. Even before the collaboration, Supreme had collaborated with companies like Nike and the North Face. From many famous people wearing the brand and collaborations, this caused Supreme to become a hype brand. The word hype refers to a piece of clothing or brand being popular. Supreme products can range from anything, whether it be a hat, sweatshirt, shirt, and accessories. Supreme is very unique because the brand can put the Supreme logo on anything and it will sell out. For example, they made a Supreme brick. In White Space is Not Your Enemy by Rebecca Hagen and Kim Golombiski, the authors address what goes into a good graphic design, which is applied in Supreme design. Thus, a good graphic design consists of capturing attention, controls the eye movement, conveys information, and evokes emotion. Many of their graphic designs consist of using a combination of pictures and words. For example, a design they use once every season is the Supreme Box logo. This consists of taking an image and overlaying the word Supreme in bold letters. As you see to the left, Supreme did the Last Supper image for the store in Milan, Italy, and is exclusively sold only for the store opening day. Thus, each graphic design has a piece of text with an acceptable shape and size, making it easy to read their logo. The Supreme website follows the seven elements of design and the six principles of a good design. The first element that stands out is the headline that says Supreme, which has the greatest impact on their layout. It shows me as the reader that the bold text of the headline clearly points out the name of the brand. There are definitely established margins and columns displaying the shirts, sweaters, and hats. Every paragraph that describes each piece of clothing breaks up properly. Also, their website has a clear rhythm and pattern with the same font of text repeated and only changes color when selected a certain color of clothing or is highlighted in red to emphasize that free shipping on all orders are over 200. Creating a balanced design and keeping it simple allows the reader to establish a clear vocal point. Overall, the seven elements of design and six principles of a good design allow Supreme to keep its identity unique. Furthermore, I'm going to discuss the process of all the applications I use for my business and how it all works. In White Space is Not Your Enemy, social media is discussed in Chapter 12 and is a major asset in my business. The process of buying Supreme is fairly easy in my opinion. As you see to the left, I use the application of Instagram and follow accounts known as Drops by J or Supreme Leak News, and they post what releases for that week. Supreme releases online in small collections every Thursday at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It's available on their website, and the company built an application to substitute for their website as well, which is known as the Supreme app. At 11 o'clock, I would click on the item, put in my information, and process my payment. Depending on how hyped the item is, the faster it will sell out. Most importantly, Supreme has such a high demand because once a design is released the following Thursday, it will not be released ever again. Once the item arrives at my house, I would sell it on the secondary market that are available to me. These secondary markets consist of resale stores and applications. Resale means I would sell the product that I have previously have bought and price it higher than what I paid for, which makes me a profit. 
Many of these retail stores are based on the app StockX, which you see on the left side of the screen. StockX is a very well-known app that you can use on your smartphone. This is a stock market not only for Supreme, but also for sneakers as well. The company provides me with an app where I can see what Supreme product has currently sold for and how the prices decline or rise based on the graph. Some other applications are called Grailed or OfferUp. Grailed is a website that consists of buying and selling brands by posting pictures of your item, a description of what it is, and stating the price. Whereas OfferUp is another form of Craigslist being you would meet the buyer in person. It's important to note there tends to be a market of people that are selling counterfeit Supreme which uses cheaper materials to replicate the real product. Thus buying from a secondary market is a high risk of getting scammed. That's why I am very knowledgeable on what's real or fake. It's key to make sure your seller is reliable based on other people's reviews. At first, I started with not enough money to be able to afford any Supreme products. No one would believe me that I would be able to resell a t-shirt for $300. Also, I have never sold anything Supreme in my life, but it was a risk I was willing to take. I would help my neighbors by mowing the lawn and I was able to reach my goal of $150. The first item I have ever bought was a Supreme shirt and is in collab with Gucci Mane who is a rapper. As you see to the right, I have an image of it. This Supreme shirt I bought from Grailed for $150. I went to New York City to resell my t-shirt at round 2, which is one of the most well-known resale store. I had to use an interactive map widget in order to find the location of round 2. At round 2, I was offered $350 or 400 store credit. Of course, I took the $350. I made a $200 profit. This was a major stepping stone for my business. I've learned many things from my project. My interest in selling Supreme had made me become a more motivated and hardworking person. Everyone has an interest or hobby, might as well turn it into a business. Selling Supreme products has shown me that there is a market for anything no matter what it is, and it took me the extra step of courage to help me overcome the fear of failure. Based on the information I discussed, Supreme has used many elements from White Space is Not Your Enemy, such as 7 elements of design and 6 principles of a good design, which makes the Supreme identity unique. Furthermore, Social media and applications have guided me to have a successful business. Also, the brand Supreme and I use the technique of taking risk in order to keep us unique as well.